There he is. He's not married and he's not. With the Warren either. Report, the blue-eyed, handsome man, Greg Warren. Hi, Greg. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Good. Got a nice letter um, uh, about your uh, your work. Uh, your, uh, you've got some big fans out there. Oh, good. Um, should I read the letter? What? <laughs> well, is it a is it a compliment? Oh. Dear friends, uh, since Greg oh. Warren is scheduled for your show, I'd like to share how much we enjoyed his appearance in Iowa Falls on Saturday. All right. We went with high expectations. Greg Warren totally delivered. He sure does. Hmm. He also demonstrated his kind personality. It comes shining through. Aww. Thanks to Greg for making time in his schedule to visit our small Iowa town and bring us so much joy and laughter. We're looking forward to his new special signed Colette and Todd. Ah. Uh, that's Todd with uh, one D, actually, from what I remember. That's correct. Oh. How did you know that? Uh, Josh, how do you pronounce that? Todd. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's, um, <laughs> that's Colette and Tom. And you... <laughs> and on your traditional Todd with sure. the two Ds. Yeah, yeah. two Ds. It Todd. Yeah. Did you sign yeah. something for him, Greg? Is that how you know that? Well, they uh, they had a, a, a hat, of, like a fishing <laughs> hat with a bunch of signatures on it, but I had already signed it apparently several years ago, as had Chick McGee uh -huh. uh, and uh, Mike Berbiglia, and uh, I, I, I saw Drew's name on there, too. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very nice. Well, uh, well, that's nice that they all the biggies. show. Yep. Now, yeah, uh, all the big ones. What's on your mind today, Greg Warren? <laughs> well, I, I want to talk about snakes today, guys. Oh, oh, I, I love favorite them. subject. Love them. Yeah, it's... Uh, some interesting stuff, guys. I'll warn you. Some of this is very disturbing. I'll start with one that's very disturbing. Okay. A severed snake head can still bite you. Isn't that Ooh. crazy? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yes. Uh, it's nuts. It's scary. I'm not <laughs> sure, but I, th I think it goes for the same uh, for a severed clown head. Uh, <laughs> that's right. No. But and this is interesting. Uh, the severed head of an open mic comic We'll, till, we'll uh, tell you, uh, despite what you just saw, uh, they can do uh, 30 minutes and are available to open for you on the road. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Snakes, uh, they uh, uh, have been around for 128 and a half million years. Whoa. Uh, mostly came, most likely came from the uh, ancient supercontinent Laurasia. How about that? Um, I don't know much about supercontinents. I assume it's... Uh, Similar like a, a musical super group where they take one part of each continent mm -hmm. and they sort of lump them together to get a big continent. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Well, they called it like, Lor uh, Laurasia because the gentleman from Lorraine, Ohio named it. Mm -hmm. So, Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. I thought it was because uh, the, the super group uh, Asia. Yeah. Oh. They were a super group. Who'd they merge with? Uh, I don't know. Lawrence Welk. Lawrence <laughs> <laughs> Welk. Yeah. Boys, yeah. let's shuffle off to Buffalo. <laughs> One and two and a... <laughs> the heat <laughs> of the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, John Wetton, everybody. John Wetton. Plays a lot of bass. Uh, nice call. Uh, the, the longest uh, snake is, of course, the reticulated... Python, of course, thirty-three feet, guys. Yeah, <laughs> wow, boy, how yeah. Is the it? anaconda is the Man. thickest; that can get a foot thick. Ugh. If you're thirty-three uh, feet long, how do you know what the tail end's doing? You know, <laughs> I mean, well, I, guess, I think it's because it's it's you. The hell, <laughs> yeah. What yeah. am I doing back there? You know what your feet are up to? Yeah. You have someone lopped yeah. off oh. your toe right now, you'd scream. Yeah, I'm wiggling my toes too now. Uh, but wiggle your toes. It's very relaxing. Isn't that nice? <laughs> no <laughs> toe wiggling during this snake thing. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry, my fault. Uh, yeah, the anaconda is uh, uh, a foot thick sometimes and 20 feet long. Those things can be 550 pounds. Woo. You know, a another interesting fact, uh, uh, Greg, uh, <laughs> I believe your anaconda don't want none unless, uh, unless what now? I forget the... Unless they got buns, hon. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Fascinating. <laughs> Baby got Thanks, back. Josh. <laughs> 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 Uh, the uh, the Burmese python is a very big, very wide and very long. Not the longest or the, the widest, but it's a pretty formidable snake. Tom, what would they call the Burmese python today? 
Oh, the oh um, oh oh uh, the Salanis maybe. Um, uh, Myanmarese. Oh, Myanmar. sorry, Myanmar. 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 I, believe, I can never right. remember which is. So what? Bur Burma is M M Myanmar. Myanmar. Is All that I know is that's where they yeah. uh, make uh, the shaving cream in Burma. Really? Oh, of course. <laughs> in a Burma how, how did I not know that? Burma, Burma shave. Burma shave, of yeah. course. Yeah, that's I right. did. Uh, look, look it up. Fastest snake is the uh, black mamba, 12 and a half miles an hour. What? Mm. How did yeah. he, he, he ain't got no legs. The catchiest snake is the black mamba number five. <laughs> <laughs> Need a little mamba. A little bit, of, little bit of slithering yeah. for that. Uh, you, you guys know what the fastest snake in the U.S. is? Mm. Uh, Don Prudhomme. The, um, <laughs> oh, very That's good. That's very good. <laughs> Famous drag racer. Yeah. So Don insane. the Snake Prudhomme. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently it was given that nickname in a locker room hung while showering. Like a, hung like a oh, giraffe. Boy. Yep. What is it, uh, Greg? It's the Coach Whip. Coach Whip. Never heard of it. Yeah, that's not to be confused with the coach choke. That's uh, Latrell <laughs> Sprewell. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember that? <laughs> wow. Man, that, uh, that was a long time ago. Most venomous is the inland Taipei. Hmm. Uh, they strike fast and sometimes eight times in a row. Ooh. Which, oh, yeah, it seems like they're just Ooh. showing off. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Hey, were the last seven really necessary? You killed them on the first one. <laughs> Act like you've been there before, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> very, very uh, venomous. The inland Ty bow, harmless. Just, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Very ineffective. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just a lot of punches show. in the air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A few kicks every now and then. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it, it's uh now this is uh this is just one oh god. Have you heard of Snake Island? No. Mm -mm. Um there is an island off of Brazil, and it's what it sounds like. It's it's filled with this snake called golden lanceheads mm. that are highly venomous. Ooh. Uh, there's thousands of them, and uh, you can't go there. The, Bra the, the Brazilian <laughs> government said uh, it's illegal to go there. Oh, no matter how much of... you may want to. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I think the reason you shouldn't go there is because it's called Snake Island. <laughs> Probably some great beachfront property available. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there, there, uh, there isn't a lighthouse there, and the Navy has to go there once a year to to fix the lighthouse. Oh, oh. how'd you like to be on that detail? No, thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I got in trouble. What am I peeling potatoes? Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they're a nasty looking viper too. But let me see. Yeah, oh, they're terrible. <gasps> yeah, they, they, real, they look. They look uh, yeah, mad. awful. Evil. Uh, you know, snakes, of course, shed their skin. Um. <laughs> The young snakes uh, do it to four to five times a year. The older snakes, one or two times a year. Hmm. Which I got to think when a snake goes to the dermatologist and is like, hey, I, I got a rash. The guy's like, well, when was the last time you shed your skin? He's like, ah, five months ago. He's like, you know what? I'd, I'd prescribe a cream, but seems like we should just let it ride. That's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> silly. <laughs> uh, 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 Snakes do not have eyelids. Hmm. They they don't close their eyes. Ever? No. When they sleep, their eyes are not closed. Ooh. They do have these tiny little uh like sleep masks like you see on the airplanes. Yeah. Oh right. yeah, those are <laughs> very helpful. <laughs> And they also have little, no. little tiny uh, cigarette holders that they, <laughs> yes. to relax. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, they, but they they actually don't see when they're sleeping. They they have a way to close their retinas. Huh. Um, what? And that's how they sleep without seeing. Uh, I went out with this girl one time, and I, I had this sweater that I thought was pretty cool, and she said she had found a way to close her retinas uh, when she... <laughs> <laughs> saw, the, saw the sweater. Saw the sweater. Oh. Didn't care for it. Huh. Uh, uh, there's four ways that snakes moves, guys. Let's count them down. Four ways. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Chick. Number one, the concertina motion that's when they scrunch their bodies oh, up yeah. like an accordion and sort of uh use their belly muscles to push themselves forward and okay. it also you makes usually a, see that on a tree it <laughs> also makes an accordion noise when they do that and that's why they, the the monkey with the tin cup is right next that's to right. <laughs> it's like a cartoon it's a hell of an act yeah uh, lateral undulation that's the most common way snakes move that's uh the 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 slithering S movement. Right. Serpentine. 
Just as an aside, uh, my brother likes his uh, uh, bacon uh, crispy. And uh, okay. if he doesn't get it crispy, <clears throat> he calls the waitress over and says, look at this bacon. I can make an S out of it. You should not be able to make an S out of crisp bacon. <laughs> <laughs> really? Sounds like a real jerk. <laughs> That sounds like a Warren, all right. Yeah. yeah. Complaining to a waitress. Bothering a server. Yeah. Uh, then there's the rectilinear movement. Oh, that's ass that's, first, right? That's when it goes right up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew it's I should have that one up. <laughs> and finally, side winding, which is incredibly spooky. This is uh, the snake uses its chin and tail to walk across a hot service. Yeah. Sort oh. of the Tokyo drift of the snake mm. world. Yes. And also... My favorite name for uh, someone with questionable business oh, yeah. business ethics. You're right. Sidewinder. He's a yeah. real sidewinder. That guy's a real sidewinder, Josh. <laughs> yeah. Stay away from him. I yep. tried to tell you. <clears throat> yeah, what else? You you guys <laughs> well, I got something for you. I got something oh, yeah? for you. This is a story that was uh, the BBC had last week. Sorry, guys. And I had a, uh, I've, got, I've received a letter from someone who tends to doubt the truth in this story. A South African pilot made an emergency landing after claiming a deadly cobra was found in the plane's cockpit. <laughs> Pidolf Rudolph Erasmus told the BBC, I felt this cool sensation crawling up my shirt. Uh. Oh. At first he thought it was his water bottle dripping, uh, but then he turned his head and claims he saw a cobra receding its head beneath the seat. Oh. Erasmus was piloting a Beechcraft Baron 58 destined for Pretoria. According to the BBC, he informed his passengers of the stowaway and landed at the Wellcom Airport. According to the BBC, the Cobra was never found. Engineers have been stripping the plane trying to find it. Hmm. Mm. Hey, guys, he's on drugs. Yeah, yeah who knows? Yeah, I had a pilot write me a letter saying that's not possible. But who knows? I, what do you mean it's not possible? There could be a snake on a plane. I saw the movie. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <There were many. laughs> yeah. Oh, guys, I did want to point out uh, the number one biker name. <laughs> Snake? Snake? Yeah. Snake. Uh, sure, <laughs> sure. Right? Are you sure? Followed up by, I would say, Rooster, Tank, Razor, Doc, and Preacher. <laughs> and and my, fa my favorite, uh, Tiny. Now, guys? Yeah. Often they're not. They're yeah. not. They're, Tiny is usually a fat man. Yeah. Uh, Tiny fat, fat. I'll fat. tell you a quick story. Uh, Mark Gross and I were doing a show one time, and there was a bunch of bikers at the show. And we... We went and had some beers afterwards, and uh, they were all kind of milling around. We were talking to uh, Preacher, mm -hmm. and uh, this one guy, he was a big fat guy. <clears throat> he had a bunch of glasses. They were like uh, souvenir glasses. They were all stacked up, and I go to Gross. I go, look, man, Tiny's got a bunch of glasses. <laughs> so about five minutes later, Gross is at the bar with that guy, and he goes, so, uh, so you're Tiny, huh? <laughs> and the guy goes, no, I'm bull. Like, I, I just said he was tiny because he was a fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> when did Mark come out of the coma? <laughs> yeah. How many stitches? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, Greg Warren is our guest, and uh, Mr. Warren will be uh, Wednesday the 19th at the New York Comedy Club in New York City. And then it looks like you're going to be at the Funny Bone in Dayton, Ohio, Friday, April 21st, and Saturday, April 22nd. Then it's off to the Funny Bone in Des Moines, and then Hilarities in Cleveland in early May. So some great stops coming up for Mr. Greg Warren, always great on stage. Thank you very much, Greg. Uh, great to see you guys. Uh, I'll see you next uh, next week in studio. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Tom, great. my uh, my comedy special comes out next uh, Friday, and I thought I'd share that day with you guys. Oh, All right. What's the name of the special? The Salesman. Oh. And then what? Uh, where does one find it? It is on. Uh, it's on YouTube on on the Nate Land YouTube channel, Nate Bargatze's YouTube channel. Cool, oh, cool. cool. And it's. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. It's a week from Friday. A week from Friday, the 21st of, uh, of April. We will yeah. look forward to it. Thank you very much, Greg.